Welcome back to Ham Radio Test and Review. My name is Dave. My call sign is N8DAV. The motto for my channel is One Test is Worth a Thousand Expert Opinions. Today, I'm bringing to you a uh, test and review of the Abri AR771. And, you know, the Chinese advertising is just terrible. This is an AR771C. But the antenna is not marked C, it's marked AR-771 GMRS. So this is technically an FRS GMRS antenna, all right? So um, if you uh, look it up on uh, Amazon, you'll find it. it's a 771C. Uh, and then when I got the antenna, it says 771 GMRS. Okay, so um, the antenna is 15.35 inches long. It's a rubberized type whip antenna with an SMA female connector. Um, there's no impedance uh, specified on this antenna um, and no uh, SWR specified uh, by a breed either. The uh, maximum uh, wattage on the antenna is 10 watts. It uh, supposedly has a 2.15 dBi gain. And uh, it is not specified as uh, being a any particular wavelength or resonant on any particular channel. All right. Um, the package that it came in was just a clear uh, sleeve, and so I'm not. I didn't bring it here. You know, a Brie usually has uh, these nice green packages, and it didn't come in one. So it might be because I got uh, got it extra cheap, or uh, who knows. But uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, that is uh, uh, how it came. And uh, last couple of things is that uh, it did not come with a rubber gasket or grommet. And um, I did pay $7.88 for it. So that's uh, a very, very cheap antenna. And that's off of Amazon. It is marked debris. Is that a knockoff? Is that a counterfeit? Who knows? I have no idea what these Chinese antennas. But I'm not sure I know anybody who'd want to uh, counterfeit or, or anything uh, or get a knockoff of an abri uh, and call it an abri so you know because abri is doing the knockoffs of everybody else so all right anyway when i come back um i'll start the testing and we can get going on this Be right guys, i want to just do a quick shout out uh to the platinum coast amateur radio society in melbourne florida they're having their 60th annual ham fest uh, on october 10th and, uh, and saturday october 11th all right, and uh, uh, please uh, support these people. I want you to go out there and have a great time. Bring your kids because they have some youth activities out there, uh, teaching them how to solder and build a kit. And uh, all of that is uh, free admission for the children. Um, the um, There's going to be all kinds of uh, door prizes, and there are going to be some major prizes, a swap table, a consignment table, uh, commercial vendors, and a tailgate area. And make sure you go out there and support them. All right, again, that's the Melbourne Ham Fest in Melbourne, Florida uh, on October Friday 10th and Saturday, October 11th. If, for more information, please go to the MelbourneHamFest.org website. That's MelbourneHamFest.org. And if you uh, have any questions, um, please uh, email HamFest at PCARS, that's P-C-A-R-S dot org. That's HamFest at Platinum Coast Amateur Radio Society, P-C-A-R-S dot org. All right, very good. Go out there and support these guys. All right, back to the video. Okay, here we are testing the using the Nano VNA Antenna Analyzer, the Abri AR771C GMRS only antenna. I'm going to turn the Nano VNA on and it will default to the two meter band, so don't get uh, excited. And we will be testing now on the 70 centimeter band. And we always test at 446. And we have an SWR of 1.103. Up next, we will be testing the AR771C GMRS antenna on the GMRS band. And we have 
SWR, got to set this over to 462575. And we have an SWR of 1.410. Okay. I'm running the field strength test. Now, this field strength test, I do it the exact same way every time. I do this at a prescribed distance. I use the same exact radio on high power with the with a brand new fresh battery every single time and i the only difference is the antenna that we're testing at the end of the video i will recap and go over all of the uh, uh, results of the field strength test and compare them to other antennas that i've tested uh, in the past we'll see how well it does compared to the other antennas all right, first up, we are testing the Abri AR771C GMRS only antenna on the 70 centimeter band. All right, now I'm testing the Abri AR771C GMRS only antenna on the GMRS band, channel 16. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to see more of it, please click on the bell icon so you can be notified every time I do release a video. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate your consideration. All right. I'm back out here at Fox Glen Park, Flagstaff, Arizona. I like this park because it's just at the right height and the right distance to be testing HT antennas. Um, good antennas will get out to my base station and get back. Um, not so great antennas. They'll be static and maybe a lot of static. And some antennas uh, either can or just barely get out there with so much static you can almost not understand. And uh, some and a few of them can't get there at all. So, you know, it's, um, it, it's a good test for an HT antenna uh, to see how well it can actually do. It's approximately 2.6 miles, probably a little bit more, but I don't want to say 2.7. And um, so anyway, uh, let's uh, try a test and see if we uh, can make it out there on uh, GMRS channel 16. And this is for the Abri AR771C GMRS antenna. WSBX 662, testing 1, 2, 3, 4. WSBX 662, testing 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. Well, as you heard, a lot of static. That means it's having trouble uh, getting to the repeater. Um, I will tell you this much. I did uh, do a quick test on this um, right before I started this video, and it could not hold the repeater open. It could kerchunk it, but it just couldn't hold it open. Um, I found out that I had to hold the antenna perfectly straight up and down. If I tilted it in any direction other than straight up and down, it uh, would not hold the uh, repeater open. So uh, that's something that you might, might want to take into consideration. It did definitely have trouble getting uh, into my repeater. I would say this is um, just barely fair uh, performance, and um, yeah, uh, I would think about it. So uh, anyway, when you see me next, I'll be back in my shack, and we can go over all the test results, and uh, I can give you my opinions, all right? All right, be right back. All right, back at my shack, out in the back patio. Uh, it's a very, very cool day, right? It's been raining for three days straight here. Uh, it's the first day of sunshine uh, here this week. So anyway, lucky man. That's all I can say. Um, so what do we learn about this Abri AR771C GMRS antenna? Well, let me get out all the testing that we did. On the um, 70 centimeter band with the power SWR meter, we got a SWR of 1.0 to 1. And on the GMRS channel 16, we got 1.00 to 1 which shows you that it's uh, tuned for this frequency. And, uh, you know, I'm sure if I put it on the two meter band, I wouldn't get uh, such good uh, SWR. I also tested using the Nano VNA antenna analyzer. And uh, the results that I got um, pretty much back up the results that I got on the power SWR meter. 
Um, got a very good 1.103 uh, to 1 on uh, the 70 centimeter band and 1.410 uh, on channel 16 on the GMRS band. Um, so how does that really compare um, to what other antennas? So those are actually very good SWRs, uh, you know, and but you can't put your hat on, er, on everything on a SWR. So the field strength test that I did um, came out uh, just a tad bit better on 70 centimeter um, and a tad worse than average on the GMRS. So I would expect uh, most of the other antennas to perform about the same as this one or this one perform about the same as the other ones. This one was just a tad bit worse, 1 dB uh, less um, on uh, GMRS. And, uh, but, uh, you know, 1 dB is 1 dB, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it, it is uh, an amount. It's not a large amount, but it is an amount. Um, and then, of course, I did the distance testing. Um, and um, that's where we know how well this antenna is really going to do in the real world. In this particular tape, in this particular case, I tried testing the antenna. Uh, before I started the video. I don't normally do that, but I, I wanted to make sure that my repeater was still working. And um, and guess what? Uh, it didn't hold the repeater open on the first try uh, or even on the second try. And I've realized that the reason was I was uh, holding the antenna at an angle. And once I held the antenna straight up and down vertically, um, then it worked uh, pretty much every time. So the problem uh, is, is that we were very close to it being maxed out. So that's something that you want to take into consideration. Um, the performance I consider just fair. I got lots and lots of static. And like I said, if I held the antenna off at a slight angle, uh, it wouldn't hold the repeater open. So what do we say about this antenna? This is my opinion now. Um, for $7.88, uh, this might actually uh, be a, a, a pretty good, antenna for you. Um, it's not the greatest antenna, the Abri AR771C, uh, in orange, by the way. I could have gotten it in black. And um, I've had better antennas, uh, but um, not by much. And um, they cost uh, three times the amount. So, you know, uh, you have to, you have to uh, take into consideration price as well as uh, performance. So if uh, you don't need the absolute maximum performance on this antenna, uh, then it might be a really good deal for you. But if you need maximum performance, then uh, there are some better antennas out there, but you're going to pay dearly for them. Okay. All right. That's it. This is uh, Dave with Ham Radio Test and Review. Remember, one test is worth a thousand expert opinions. Saying 73 and so long.